Hey guys, Marty here. Welcome back to Snappy Videos. Today we're going to be comparing the original Digimon Virtual Pet versus the Digimon X Virtual Pet. So straight up guys, some key differences here. Obviously we have the X Handybody Digimon on the Digimon Vir X Virtual Pet, which we don't have on the original Digimon, which makes sense because it is the Digimon X. You will also see other differences like just in the look of the device. You have the X on the Digimon X where you don't on the original, and a massive feature you have on the Digimon X you don't have on the original is your ability to take on areas. Not only do you have the ability to take on the areas, but you also get other items. These items you don't even see on the 20th, guys, so this is a big difference between the two devices. The evolution criteria is slightly different between the two devices as well. Let's jump on the table now, guys. Let's check out the two devices physically and see what the differences are. All right, so first of all, if you guys didn't see the video where I compared the original Digimon Virtual Pet versus the Digimon 20th, check it out right here. Uh, quite an interesting video guys just seeing the differences because that is a direct remake of this when you think about it There are some differences though guys to so make sure you check that out All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare in the last video I did where I compared it against the 20th I did ask you guys to tell me which one you think was the original um, But this massive X will give that away. So let's not worry about comparing that right now guys all right, so first of all, we're gonna look at some physical differences um, and then we'll go straight into looking at the menus. All right, guys, so obviously one Digimon at a time on each device, so that's something different than the 20th already. Uh, just looking at the devices, obviously the original one here is transparent, but they are not all transparent. This is just lucky enough to have a transparent one, so that is not an actual difference. Um, the device itself is pretty much the same with the buttons, the cage around the Digimon. Um, as well as your bricks and like your connections and stuff. But that's about where it ends. You've got your X here, guys, on the Digimon X, which looks amazing and fits in really well with the coloring. Looking at the back, it's the same thing when I described the 20th, guys. You have the single screw for your battery compartment, whereas you, well, sorry, bump the camera there. Whereas you have your two screws here and you also have your LR44 batteries here, whereas you have your bigger batteries in here. So that's a bit of a difference there for you guys. Looking at the device, the chains are the same on here. However, that's only because I replaced the rusty chain on my original with a chain from my one of my 20 amps. I'm gonna order some chains in. Hopefully I'll get an original one there as well. All right, guys, so let's check, check out the menus now. So going across the menus, if this camera will stay in focus, your first menu here, guys, I'll do one at a time. So you've got a round menu here on your original, whereas on your X, it's again the same as the 20th where it's more shaped like a windscreen. Now looking at your X, it does show the name of the Digimon when you first click on it. It does not say that on your original. It actually has how old it is in years and the weight in pounds, which you'll find interesting. Just remember the years and pounds for that and we'll check it out here. On your Digimon X, you have your, your uh, age, which is called DM in years, that's fine. But then your weight is actually in G, which is gigabytes. When you go to your hunger, this is another key difference here, guys. So come across to hunger, you have hunger hearts. That's fine. On the Digimon original, they actually go one heart at a time. So you never have half hearts. Whereas on your, I'll just click through it so it stays up there. On your Digimon X, you can actually go half a heart down. So you actually have one heart will actually be two feedings. Whereas opposed to the original Digimon virtual pet, one heart is one bit of food. You also have different amounts of hearts per different evolutionary stage on your Digimon X. So for example, if you were to be at this stage, we have like with this Digimon that we have on the original, on the Digimon X, you'd probably only have, I believe it's two hearts. But that is the equivalent of four. So if you look at, at this now, four hearts on the Digimon X, because one feeding is half a heart, it's the equivalent of eight hearts on your, dig on your original Digimon Virtual Pet. So they can go a lot longer without eating. Strength is exactly the same, guys. Again, if we bring that up on the original, again, sorry, this screen's very reflective. Strength is exactly the same, although we do have the half a heart situation as well. You've got effort on your Digimon X, whereas you have energy on your um, on your original. Coming through here, guys, uh, it's got level and experience and stuff as well. It also showed the, the level of the Digimon, and then you've got your percentage of wins. So that's it for the Digimon X. Whereas if you look on your original Digimon Virtual Pet. God, that screen is reflective. You've got energy, you've got percentage of victories, that is it. So that's all they have there. So obviously a little bit more on the Digimon X, which you would expect being a newer device. All right, so next menu is feeding. You've just got food and vitamin on your original, which is spelt out with the words. Whereas if you go on your Digimon X and go to the food menu, 
you got your food and your vitamin there, but they are actually the images, not the words. Then you can actually scroll down through all the extra items I mentioned earlier, and you can look at all of those and use them. So plenty more items you can use on the Digimon X compared to the original. Doesn't mean the original is no good, it's just the Digimon X works slightly differently. The training menu is a lot different on the Digimon X as well, whereas you'll go through, you've got two different types of training and you've got to stop this bar at a certain point. Then your Digimon will go through and he will do his little attack, throw his flaming wheel of fire and his other attacks at this thing, skip through it for you. But basically, you get it to that high point, you'll get an excellent. And he'll be happy and training is finished. Your normal and excite training are pretty similar guys, so I won't go through the excite training. Let's go through training now on your original Digimon. So click on that. You actually have to stop this at 100%. So I managed to nail it there, which is good. 100% will break down the wall. Very similar with the breaking down the wall from the 20th. Uh, obviously this is where the 20th got it from. But um, yeah, you actually have to hit 100%. So this is a bit harder, I would think, than the 20th. Probably on, nearly on par with the, um, with the Digimon X with difficulty for training there. Now you'll see if you don't hit 100%, even if you hit 90%, he's not happy. Uh, but it just goes again, 0%, there we go, that won't be good. Uh, so yeah, your training will just continually loop until you get out of it. So next menu along guys is your battling menu on the original. You'll see something different on the Digimon X. Now this guy can't battle because he's too young, but the next menu there is battling. So if we have a look along now, so we just did the training menu. Your next menu here is this little cup, which will actually take you on to battle your areas. So that's a bit of a difference here with the Digimon X, as we did mention, you have a heap of areas you can battle with Digimon in them. On the original, you don't. The next menu along, guys, here is your flushing menu. As you notice here, you can't flush when there's no poo. If you come along here, the flushing menu is down the bottom rather than up the top where it is on the X. So it's down the bottom here on the original, and you can flush as many times as you want with your Digimon, original Digimon, even if there's no poo there. Moving along the next menu, guys, is your light. You can turn the light on and off as required when Digimon goes to sleep. Okay, next menu along here, guys, we can put our Digimon in the freezer. Pretty crazy, Digimon X, let's freeze the Digimon. You don't have um, many menus you can access while you're in the freezer, um, just purely because why would you? Uh, let's take him out of the freezer now and I'll show you the rest of the menus. Moving along, guys, we have the healing menu. Here's one to be healed, um, that's fine. Same with this guy, the next menu is your healing menu, doesn't want to be healed. And that is all the menus on the original Digimon Virtual Pet. Let's quickly finish off the Digimon X. So you've got healing, then you've got a little book here where you can go back up on your library. I won't go through that now, but, uh, and record as well. But pretty self-explanatory as to what they do. And then you have a battle menu where you can battle X to another X Digimon, or you can battle another Digimon where we could technically link these guys up, which we will do once this guy's old enough, and battle them. That's essentially it guys, so there's a lot of many differences, it's a lot of a lot more gameplay you can do on your Digimon X, and the uh, training is a lot different on your original Digimon Virtual Pet. Physical differences guys, the main one is that battery compartment and that giant X on the screen. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. If you haven't watched the video where I compare the original Digimon to the 20th, why not check that out right here, and I'll see you guys in another video.